At the beginning of each year, we need to upload our student rosters into the learning management system for our Project Lead the Way courses. So once you have logged into my PLTW, we can begin this process. I'm going to walk you through this process step by step. Um, if you have any questions uh, when you're done, uh, please feel free to contact me. Hopefully this will clear up and make it easy for everybody to get their students into the learning management system. So once you're logged into my PLTW, um, I'm going to open up the LMS. Um, I like to right click and put it in a new tab. That way I can get back to this screen right here. Now what I'm looking at is making sure that under my courses that I have the current year course that I am teaching. Um, these are populated by Project Lead the Way, so whatever you are qualified to teach are the courses you will see. Um, as you can see in mine, I have Civil Engineering, Intro to Engineering, and Principles. Even though I'm only teaching these two classes, uh, the Principles exist as well because I am enrolled as a teacher through Project Lead the Way. So that's what that structure looks like. What we are doing is we are looking at populating our course and then publishing it. As you can see, this course is unpublished. We do not want to publish the course until after we have populated the list. So if I look under people here on the left hand side of the screen, I will see that I am the only person that is in this class. I need to populate my learning management system. So we're going to go back to this initial login page and we're going to go to our group or institution. In this case it's Davies High School for myself. And I am going to look at what my active classrooms are. You should have um, both a semester one and a semester two class. Um, so in this case, I have civil engineering and architecture for these dates. And that's my first semester, or sorry, that is my second semester. This is my first semester uh, right here with these dates. So what I am looking at doing is from the view and manage for a class, I have the option to add students to the course um, that has got to be done administratively, um, so if you contact myself or Denise, um, we can help you get that taken care of if any students have to be added. Um, once all the students are there, you will see there's a username um, that some of these students have and uh, some of them don't. Um, I would wait a couple of days uh, to make sure that all of our students have usernames. These are assigned by Project Lead the Way. Um, we just got this information into um, Project Lead the Way themselves, uh, so it typically takes a couple days before you see these things populated. Um, so make sure that you have usernames for all of them. And then all you have to do is you can click Enroll Students. Um, you'll see, hopefully it won't screw everything up. Um, I'd click Submit in this screen and then that's going to actually put all of those students into my LMS. I'm not going to actually do that at this time because I do not have all the usernames and passwords and I don't know if that will affect it at all or not. Um, I would not think it would but I'm going to give it a day or two until my students all have usernames and passwords. Um, and that's a question I will be asking. Um, I'm not positive. Um, you may need to select those students before you hit enroll just says submit so I'm not sure what will happen there um, so if you do run into any trouble um, again please let myself or Denise know and then we can work on that uh, issue as it comes up but once you've enrolled those students then under the course in the LMS you should be able to see a list of those students all um, from this page here where you click on people um, so again, you need to go through those steps. Once you've gone through all of those steps and you have students into the course, you need to click on Publish the Course uh, for the students to be able to access your learning management system. Um, so again, any questions that you may have, um, you can contact me. Uh, my name is Ryan Pierce. Um, my email is piercer at fargo.k12.nd.us or you can uh, look up the address for Denise Jonas, our CTE director, um, and she can probably also help you.